And if we look back at the Five Nights at Freddy's footage really quick, let's see what we got going on here. So, um... You... To access this panel, you actually have to move your mouse to a lower coordinate of the screen. Really is just use the arrow keys to iterate through all these different elements. That makes it easy, so let's just use input. Left arrow, left arrow, right arrow, up. Let's do up. The up arrow is pressed. If input.get key, key code arrow up. This is not what I want. I want to get I want to get down, right? I want to do input dot get key down, actually up. I like doing it on up. Let's do key code dot up arrow. We're going to do the same thing for down as well. I'm just going to have to copy and paste the stuff in there. So let's jump in here. So what I want to do is cycle through the cameras. To cycle through the cameras, of course, I need to know what my current camera is. So we should create a public uh, if I want to truly do this, I should probably have all of these damn cameras in an array, shouldn't I? And I iterate through the array for the moment. Now, in the future, this, because it's not part of the game, and it'll end up being something I throw away later on, I can get away with just implementing it cheaply. So let's do a protected uh, camera array uh, cameras. And then in void awake... Let's do cameras is equal to a new camera array and of size, what do we want? What is it, 11? 12 actually, right? With all the cameras taken into consideration. And what I want to do is cameras do zero is going to be equal to security room camera. And we're going to do this for all the elements. Yeah. Camera. So now we have an array of cameras we can iterate through. So now we can go to cameras. If input key code up. Um, void ink camera. Let's just use make some fun separate functions for this kind of stuff. Ink camera and then void deck camera. Wow. And we need the integer value that stores the current camera we're on. So let's do a protected int current camera. Current, current camera plus plus. And then we need to do that whole check for this. So let's do if current camera is greater if current camera is greater than cameras dot was it length? we need that then to be is that current camera is equal to zero. Let's just copy this stuff because it's going to be very similar down here in deck, which is going to be minus minus. And in this case, we're not going to go to camera zero. We're going to go to camera's length minus one. Of course, minus one because it's a zero based system. And if we say we have 10 elements, we really have nine. Okay. So if this ha if key code up happens, we're going to do an ink camera. And let's copy and paste that section again. And let's do the opposite. Let's decrement the camera. Let's do dot down arrow. Let's do deck camera. All right. Now, this isn't actually doing anything in our scene. Our cameras are not changing. To make that happen, we actually need to turn off and on the activity of the camera. So if we come over here and take a look at our cameras right now, only one camera is active, and that's the first camera in our scene. Everything else is, is basically deactivated. So let's actually select all the other cameras in our scene first, because we want to start in the security room. Turn them off. Okay, so let's activate this. So what we need to do is when we increment the camera, we not only want to change what camera we're dealing with, we're also going to want to activate it, right? So before we increment our camera, what we should be doing is doing cameras, uh, current camera 
dot enable do a false probably going to want to turn off that audio listener too but we'll get to that in a minute we've set to make sure that we're in the right thing so now we can do camera equals true so we want to increment the correct camera let's copy and paste this for the deck camera as well okay looks good to me save come over here check our console any errors nothing okay let's hit run really quick and see what happens. All right, we're moving throughout the scene. Oh, index out of range. Let's take a look at that really quick. Now when we're decrementing, if we're less than zero, geez, that's a major mess up I did. So with uh, decrements, when the current camera is actually less than zero, so as we're decrementing, if we're less than zero, I wanna make sure we go back to the end of the array. When we're dealing with the incrementing, I want to make sure we go back to zero, save, or equal to. Now we should be good. Clear, run, and if I hit down to decrement, here we are moving through our different cameras. Here we are incrementing through our different cameras. Don't seem to be having any problems here. Uh, once again, we get that error. There are 12 audio listeners in the scene. Please ensure there is always exactly one audio listener in the scene. So what we should probably do is enable and disable those audio listeners as we're moving around. Because if we look, we'll see that they're still activated. So I should grab them and turn them off based upon which camera we're on. Although, you know, you do get audio from the scene, don't you? Where you're looking, right? So if we jump ahead to some of this footage really quick while I'm jumping around. So if we go here. After hours, probably won't recognize. Yep, yep, that's all fine. You are getting audio from that area, so should. Jeez, oh this is a good. This is a good question. Should I, should I fake it, or should I actually implement audio that you're getting from that location? Ooh. Well, let's disable the audio listeners for now and figure out the rest of it later on. So and when we increment the camera, not only do we want to uh, disable what camera is current and not, we actually want to do it cameras. Current camera dot get component, and we want to do audio listener, and we want to do a dot enable is equal to false, and we're going to do the same thing after we change to a new camera. We're going to change it to true, and let's do that same process when we decrement a camera and when we increment the camera because we're only supposed to have one audio listener in a scene folks so and that means we can actually go through here and find all of the other cameras and deactivate the audio listeners hit the run button and let's see what happens yes i know there are lots of audio listeners but let's click in the scene and start iterating through different things so the good news is that as i'm moving around the scene whoops as i'm moving around the scene uh, the proper audio listeners do seem to be kicking in and kicking out. Okay, so that's... And actually, you know, I should make the current camera a... Um, so let's add a serialize field to the camera. And this way, we can actually see which camera we're on. So we click the camera manager, and we click in here. Great. We can actually tell which camera we're actually viewing the scene with. Okay, now that we have a camera manager, what's next? Well, I kind of want to start dealing with the room itself. I want to get a quick box in there. I want to put a fan in there, obviously. I also want to get some doors in there. And on the doors, I want to get that light in that door switch and make it so you can close the door and raise the door back open really easily and quickly. Besides having a GUI map, and the ability to move around and see different cameras, the door and the light are fundamentally the biggest pieces of this game. So let's jump into that next. Mm -hmm.